Today's video is super awesome because this is the kind of video that I would watch. Uh, it is my three minimalist outfit winter capsule wardrobe thing. Let's get on, let's get to the outfits. All right, so the first outfit is kind of like my go out and meet some people and hang out with friends. This is the button down outfit. So I have one button down and it's from H&M. I've had it for maybe four or five years. And the button downs, it's not even buttons. It's actually snap buttons, which is super awesome at the end of the day and all that stuff. I, I just love it. Paired with a pair of nudie jeans and the jeans, although you may think they look black or in the video they might look black, they're actually gray. And because they're gray, you can pair them with brown boots. So I have these brown red wings. So I have my button down, the nudie jeans, and then the boots. That's kind of like, a, this is not something that I would lounge around in. It's something that I put on when I know I'm gonna be around other people. The second outfit is kind of my work outfit. This is the thing that I wear when I wake up and then I go to the desk in my room and then I work and then I go to bed in my room. This is the, I don't see people, maybe I'll have a Zoom call, but I don't wanna be in pajamas all day because I can't get into a work mindset so this is basically my work uniform, which is my hoodie. And this hoodie is a custom hoodie. My brother's art and my design with the whole channel, my other channel, the Carry Chronicles. So we have that emblem. This is a signature symbol for us, the Jolly Rogers in our own fashion. And that's big on the back and it's just bold and strong and tough. And I really love how dark that look is. That's the only flair to this. Everything else is just black. Uh, I pair that with a pair of Peter Manning jeans, which is great for my short and wide figure right now. It also works really good for when I'm in shape, but these things are so comfortable. They're stretchy as heck. It's just, they're so comfortable. And I can pair these with sneakers. I usually wear my new Nikes with these uh, before I wore my Adams, um, but those are kind of on its way out. So I didn't want to kind of talk about those in this video but they were great. Uh, I'm looking for maybe some new Reeboks in the future for this, some just black shoes. So this is just like a blacked out work uniform, hoodie, comfy. It's just kind of my most used one. And then there's the third. This is my new favorite because it's all new stuff. Um, it's a new Nike hoodie. And this hoodie from Nike, these things fit so comfortably, they're rigid and the sleeves aren't too round in the arms. The length is just right for my shorter body. Uh, it fits good. It makes me look like I'm in better shape than I am. I think the Nike stuff is hands down my new favorite company and I will probably be really, really laying thick into Nike world for a while because I had no idea how great it was. I pair the Nike hoodie with the Nike sweatpants, which I got for Christmas for my brother. Thank you, Scott. And they're so good. I mean, I am a stickler for fitting of where pants fit and my legs are, they're shorter. They're just like 27 inch inseam. Nothing really fits unless they're too small a little bit. So these are really, really great. They fall good and then they fall onto my Nike shoes, my Air Force Max 90, I think they are. I'll share a link for all of this stuff. And they fall perfect and they look kind of in this like old skater silhouette where it's not super tight, it's kind of baggy, but it's also falling with a nice kind of stack. It's really, really perfect. I really, really love how these fall. And then those shoes, the Nike Air Max are just, those are comfy, they're awesome looking. They're white, so it gives it a little bit of pop. And uh, this, this is my everyday, like every day I can. I mean, if I'm working, I may not do this, but it's good if I'm active and I'm leaving the house quite a bit, like running errands and all that stuff. This is this is it. It's just all blacked out Nike. It's awesome. Now, those are my three outfits. Now, what I want to talk about is just a little bit more insight. So if you're looking to figure out what was happening is I went through my whole closet. I had some color pops here and I thought that that was always necessary. I'd always see minimalists and other people wearing all blacked out stuff. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Some days I don't feel like wearing black. But then recently I was like, you know what, what I'll do is I'll get rid of all the color. And then when I'm losing it, I'll go and find the color pops. And so far it's been a while and I don't need the color pop. I'm realizing there's something that's lifted from me emotionally 
once I got rid of the color, it was like almost a baggage and of some sort. It was something weighing on me, having these color pops all over in my drawers or in the closet. And it was like kind of eating me up. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's just like the thing in the drawer that you don't use. It, subconsciously, it kind of gets to you. So now when I see all things that I own, it's all monochrome, everything. There's like very, very few pieces of color, like one, maybe two, no, one. And that's it. And there's something about this uniform thing that knows that I can put on any piece of my clothing and it all works. Mostly. The amount of effort and thought that goes into dressing is hands down, it's like near zero. It's awesome. So that's where I approached getting rid of stuff. I wanted to clear the palette. So I'm at a zero. This is going to change for sure, most likely. But I wanted to get down to the bare minimum. And then as far as what I do, I, I found myself, I, I took a notes. It's like, oh, I wore a hoodie, I wore a hoodie, I wore a hoodie, I wore a hoodie, oh, a button down. So I realized I don't need all of these other things. The amount of button downs that I wear was very, very few. So I have one that covers that one day. And then I made sure that it was one that I could wear a few times. So it's a very under the radar, not, very attractive piece. It's just one that I could get away with. Also, I don't really care, but that's kind of what I was thinking for that. And then the jeans or the pants line, I was kind of thinking of like hard, medium, and light. So it's the nudie jeans are harder jeans, the medium are the stretchy jeans, and then the sweatpants are like the light, like as far as mobility goes. And the whole outfit is basically based around the bottoms. So if I wear hard jeans, I know that most likely I'm gonna wear something a little more rigid, most likely. When I look into my drawers and I see only the things that I really, really love, it's super inspiring again. I didn't really care about my clothes and these articles just make me feel good that they are so intentional and so selected that I'm just excited again. And in fact, I've n I don't care about clothes. I don't care about fashion. I know that a lot of times people think that I'm really into this kind of world of clothing, but it's not. I'm just really picky with what I put on. So that's kind of what I, the next point I want to talk about is that <clears throat> these clothes aren't, I'm not showing you these outfits for you to be like, oh, I really like that. I want to buy it. Oh, look how awesome this looks on me. Right now, I'm not super psyched about how I look in any of them. I personally am not showing these off to say I look awesome. It's not the point. The point is to show you what is the aftermath of my train of thought and how I got down to call to three outfits. That is very, very good. This is the best, most trim setup outfit capsule wardrobe thing that I've ever had. Now I will get better at this and the next ones will be better, but I have to start somewhere. And the first goal for me was get down to three outfits. The next goal would be make those three outfits better. I know I wanna work on my hard jeans outfit a lot better. The Red Wings are really heavy, the button down's kinda of old, it's kinda of fit weird, and the shoulders kinda of round. There's all these things that I wanna kinda of up, upgrade. But that's kinda of what I'm trying to put across is you really evaluate things and don't cling on to anything because I had a few shirts that I was clinging on to and once I just finally let him go and be like, you know what, I'll, I'm excited to go to the next round where I get something new. That made me wanna put that away so that there's room for the new one. And I didn't wanna do a one in, one out because I've tried that one in, then I just have two in. And that was just not, not the way it works for me. So I really hope that this kind of inspires you to assess your wardrobe and your outfits and create your whole system based around your lifestyle, not just the clothes that you like and go in and be like, well, what would I want to wear? What do I wear? Is it a hoodie today? Cool. And make a note, make a little calendar of like how many times you end up going for whatever you have as an article item and, and then go in and replace them and, and just make, make three outfits. It should cover everything. Been doing this for a little bit now. Um, I could go on and on, but I really can't find the words anymore. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll make another video on that. Um, until next time, cheers.